Mate, I suppose you've been here a couple of months now. How have you settled in? You say you said your wife's coming over tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I feel like I've settled in, in really well. Uh, a lot of the boys have been a big help for me. It's, it's a great group of lads. I've uh, got my own place now and, and yeah, she'll be over tomorrow morning, so I uh, can't wait. Scoring goals certainly helps uh, endear you to the fans and makes you closer with the boys as well. Yeah, I think if you see the boys' celebrations, for some reason or another, they was, they was really happy for me. Um, everyone celebrated, even Joe ran ATRs to come and join in as well. So, uh, yeah, I think if I can score more goals, obviously the fans will, will like me a bit more as well, uh, and, and the team, because that will help me everyone. Bernardo had a joke about it, but no backflips from yourself either? I know, I don't think I'm athletic as, as them young boys, 17-year-olds, I can't. I've not got the springs they've got, um, I'll just stick to the knee slide. And <laughs> hopefully I don't need the dry spot up there as well. So. I don't mean to put you on the spot. What about the finish? Did you catch it as cleanly as, as you'd hoped? No, if I'm, if I'm being deadly honest, I was aiming for the other top corner and I think I just shanked it off the heel and tried it hit that hard. It's, it's still gone in. Uh, the keeper didn't expect it, neither did I, so that's probably why it's gone in. Where, where would you say your fitness is at at the moment? Do you think, I know we talk about the warm weather here in Australia, it's not that warm at the moment, but do you feel like you've got 90 minutes in you? Uh, I, I think if you ask any, any football, they want to play, they want to start, and, and I'll stand there and say, yeah, I could, I could complete a 90 minutes. So, I feel like I've been getting fitter and stronger, obviously training with the boys and, and a couple of games now, three pre-season games under my belt. Um, but the boys have been, have been playing really well, so I've got to patiently wait for my, for my chance, and, and then when it comes, uh, hopefully it can complete that 90 minutes. Is the question that always sort of comes, you've, you were at Manchester United when you were younger, uh, you know, Pogba and the likes, where does Nesta sort of sit compared to those those guys? But like, be honest, is he is he anywhere near that level? Uh, I, I think so. I think natural ability. If you if you look at what he does on the pitch at, at such a young age, then obviously it's, it's hard to compare because he was so long ago. And, but I think he can. He's really he's got a really good chance of being a top top player. Um, it's up to us as a group to, to keep his feet on the ground and, and let him play with freedom. And, and you've seen the two performances he's put in and the goal that he scored. Uh, yeah, I think he's got a good chance of being a top top player. You say natural ability. What's going to be the hardest thing for him? Do you think going forward? Um, I think just I think mentally probably to, to, to get the mental side of it right because he's got all the athleticism that you need to be a top player. He's got the, the natural ability, the the one on one skills, the strike as you see in the other night. So I think if he if he gets the mental side of it right, he listens to the older boys, the ones that we've got in the team, keeps his feet on the ground, and I think I think the world's his oyster. Um, You've been around the block, you've played for a lot of senior football for a lot of clubs over in the UK. Have you ever been at a club that has had so many young players contributed for the first team? No, I think it's, it's incredible here, obviously, what, what the whole club's done, especially the manager giving the boys, first and foremost, the confidence to go out and play their game. Um, I think you see the other we had we had six teenagers that played and contributed at a high level. I think it's remarkable, obviously, the job, the job that the club's done. Um, yeah, I've never been at a place where there's so many uh, young players contributing at such a high level and it's, it's refreshing to see, it's good. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how it feels on the pitch, but on the stands it feels like when these boys are playing with confidence, mm -hmm. you know, it's almost, you can feel and everyone else gets a bit of a kick up. Is that how you feel on the pitch, playing with confidence, does it come up on you as well? Yeah, I think so. I think, obviously, the, the positive of being 17, 18 is you, you sort of have no fear, you don't really know, you don't know about the, the, the fear side of football, so they play with confidence. Um, as long as they keep doing the right things for the team, then it's, it's up to us to allow them to sort of play with that flair and freedom. And I think you've seen the first two games that we've played, that, that, that helps us massively as a team when you've got these boys uh, doing what they can do. Mm -hmm. Melbourne victory next, have you seen much of them at all play this season? Uh, yeah, we, obviously we played them in the, my first pre-season game here. We, we played them away, uh, which the game we won. Uh, yeah, and obviously we've watched um, this week, we've focused on them because obviously the game's coming up, so um, all our attention's been on them and we've, we've watched them for quite a few, yeah. Mm -hmm. And obviously the Adelaide's rivals here, um, have you heard much about that? Have the boys talked to you about that rivalry? Uh, yeah, I think some of the boys have, have obviously I've tried to learn as, as much about the club as I possibly could, obviously being here in a short space of time. Um, I know it's a rivalry, I know that we don't like them, and uh, it's one that, that the whole squad will be will going into the game and, and trying to get a win for obviously the fans in the club. Has it been refreshing for you to come to Australia and obviously you said you haven't started again, but the way the team's, has it given you a, a new lease on sort of your career? Yeah, I think so. I think, yeah, obviously we, we've started the season well and, and it's, it's obviously a different challenge for me. It's, it's probably the first time I've created that. Uh, the manager said it before on, on pre-season game that let's put a market on and show that we want to win the league this year. So I think that's probably the first time 
I've ever had that trying to win the league in a, in a top division. So, yeah, like I say, it's playing with all these young lads, it's keeping me young, it's, it's driving me on to do better, to get fitter, and, uh, and try and contribute as much as I possibly can for, for a great season for the club. When you watch coming over tomorrow, what's the one thing you're most excited to show her or for her to see here in LA? Uh, probably the beaches, obviously. In England, being from England, being in London, Manchester, you don't often get the chance to, to sit on the beach after training, after a long hard day and dip your legs in the sea, so um, I'm sure she'll be happy with that.